Hi guys, Dr. Rob Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. Um, I'd like to talk today about serotonin deficiencies. Um, serotonin is an important uh, chemical. Uh, it's a neurotransmitter in the brain. It's synthesized primarily uh, in the RAF nuclei. Um, but serotonin is found throughout the body, uh, particularly in the gastrointestinal tract. Um, in fact, the name serotonin is actually derived from the words sero and tonin um, because uh, serotonin was found to uh, actually uh, help with muscle contraction. So serotonin, although it's thought of uh, as a neurotransmitter in the brain, it's actually found throughout the body and it may have uh, many effects that we're not actually uh, uh, currently aware of. Uh, in the brain, uh, the serotonin systems are very complex, they're not fully understood, but it is thought that serotonin uh, deficiencies, low levels of serotonin, uh, may be responsible for a number of uh, mood changes, uh, including a loss of libido, uh, cravings for sweet foods, um, fatigue, uh, anxiety, depression. Um, uh, impulsiveness. There are a number of uh, mood changes that have been linked uh, to low serotonin uh, levels. Whether these are, are actually uh, firmly established is, is, is open to question. There is a, a lot of contention about this because obviously the brain is incredibly complex. But I think the weight of evidence in the nutritional literature suggests that those people with low levels of serotonin do certainly have some kind of uh, anxiety uh, disorders and they, they also uh, seem to be uh, having some kind of relation to depression. Now obviously depression is a very uh, wide-ranging disease, um, a, a disorder, and therefore it's very difficult to, to pin it purely on serotonin. But there's, there's a lot of evidence to suggest that anxiety and depression uh, are related to low levels of serotonin and hence the use of uh, drugs such as the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors uh, in order to be able to treat those people with anxiety and depression. Now, I'm not really interested uh, in, in the use of drugs. Uh, I'm obviously a nutritionist and I'm interested more uh, in the use of natural uh, uh, means in terms of nutrition and, and possibly herbs in order to be able to address uh, low levels of serotonin. Um, so obviously, theoretically, if you wanted to raise your serotonin levels, uh, what ways could you could you go about this? Well, serotonin is derived uh, from the amino acid uh, L-tryptophan. Uh, and L-tryptophan is an essential amino acid, which means it's only uh, available in the diet. It can't be produced or synthesized uh, in the body. So serotonin levels really are dependent on dietary levels of L-tryptophan. Now, L-tryptophan obviously being uh, an amino acid uh, is present in foods that contain protein. So you would have thought that high protein foods like meat and fish would be great sources of, uh, of tryptophan. And, and in, in a way they are, but they don't seem to cause increases uh, in brain levels of 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 the chemical. Now, if we look at how um, if we look at how uh, uh, serotonin is synthesized, we start with the amino acid L-tryptophan. L-tryptophan uh, is converted to uh, an intermediate chemical, um, which is 5-hydroxytryptophan, uh, and that conversion process uh, is is undertaken by the enzyme uh, tryptophan hydroxylase, which is an iron requiring enzyme. That's the rate limiting step uh, in the metabolic pathway, uh, and the 5-hydroxytryptophan is then converted to 5 5-hydroxytryptamine, which is uh, serotonin. Serotonin is 5-hydroxytryptamine. The serotonin can be further metabolized uh, to melatonin, which is the chemical that induces sleep. Um, so that's the, the basic pathway with the rate limiting step being an iron dependent uh, enzyme. So obviously you have to make sure first that you have uh, adequate uh, amounts of iron and um, iron deficiency is the most common uh, deficiency disease uh, in the world. Uh, and many people in developed nations still have iron uh, deficiency anemia uh, or have very borderline levels of iron. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you've got an adequate iron status. Now, eating meat is the best way to take in uh, adequate amounts of iron because the iron uh, in meat is in the heme form and heat the heme form of iron uh, is the best absorbed form of iron uh, if you don't eat meat uh, i would suggest that you take a supplement uh, of an amino acid chelated iron um, 
compound uh, because that will be much uh, more readily absorbed uh, possibly than uh, the non-amino acid chelated uh, simple uh, metallic uh, compounds that you find in most uh, most uh, multivitamins and most iron tablets. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive but it's probably worth the extra cost. Uh, plant foods are quite poor sources of iron. They contain the non-heme form of iron. If you do eat um, a lot of plant foods and you get your iron from plant foods make sure you take vitamin C with your meal because vitamin C is a chelating agent Agent, it's a reducing agent uh, and it will help with the absorption of iron from your meal. So once you've got an adequate iron status um, you might find that your serotonin levels uh, increase uh, anyway because it might have been that you actually had a deficiency of iron which was causing a decrease in your tryptophan hydroxylase uh, activity uh, in, the, in the metabolic pathway which is obviously uh, going to inhibit the serotonin production. So that's the first thing I would suggest. Now if we look at protein foods that contain tryptophan, they're actually poor sources of uh, uh, tryptophan in terms of raising serotonin levels. They contain tryptophan but they don't seem to cause increases in serotonin levels uh, in, the, in the brain. And the reason for this is that there's a, there's a little kind of metabolic uh, physiological trick that you need to do in order to be able to get the uh, L-tryptophan into the brain. It's all very well taking the L-tryptophan in your diet but it really needs to get into the brain. Now, there are some foods that contain uh, high amounts of, uh, of, of, of L-tryptophan, um, mostly protein foods, but if we turn to the carbohydrate foods, it's the carbohydrate foods that actually may be the most beneficial. Now, the reason for this is that when you take carbohydrate foods, they cause an increase uh, in the release of insulin. Insulin drives branched chain amino acids in the plasma into your skeletal muscles. Now, on your blood-brain barrier, you have a, a transporter called the Large Neutral Amino Acid Transporter. And this uh, is the transporter that takes the large neutral amino acids, such as the branched chain amino acids, also L-tryptophan, uh, and also L-tyrosine uh, and L-phenylalanine into the brain. Now there is competition for this transporter. Uh, under normal physiological conditions, the branched chain amino acids would compete with the uh, L-tryptophan in the blood and the L-tyrosine and the phenylalanine uh, to get into the brain. However, if you push those uh, branch chain amino acids into your skeletal muscle through a release of insulin, you free up a lot of the transport capacity of these large neutral amino acid transporters and more of uh, the L-tryptophan can actually get into the brain and this will increase serotonin synthesis. So it's very strange that you would have thought that eating lots of protein food which contains amino acids such as L-tryptophan would have caused an increase uh, in the brain levels of tryptophan. Uh, it's actually carbohydrate foods that may actually be more beneficial. So that's really um, the best way to increase serotonin levels of uh, the increased brain levels of serotonin is to take a carbohydrate meal um, and this is possibly why those people with low serotonin levels in the brain actually uh, have cravings for sweet foods like carbohydrates because uh, their physiological systems are trying to cause this uh, removal of the branched chain amino acids uh, an increase in tryptophan in the brain and therefore an increase in the synthesis of uh, serotonin so that's that's a very neat trick in order to be able to increase uh, levels of tryptophan. Now, there is another way to increase uh, levels of um, uh, serotonin in the brain, and that is to turn to herbal supplements. Uh, and there is a particular herb that has been found uh, to contain 5-hydroxytryptophan. Now, 5-hydroxytryptophan, remember from the metabolic pathway, is a step uh, before the production of the 5-hydroxytryptamine, which is serotonin. Now, if we look at the Griffonia simplicifolia plant, uh, this contains 5-hydroxytryptophan. It's been shown that it does increase serotonin levels in the brain. It does increase uh, the production of serotonin uh, and that means it's obviously bioavailable it's it's getting into the brain and it's feeding into the pathway uh, and increasing levels of serotonin uh, it's widely available in health food shops it appears to be safe uh, and it's actually beneficial for those people that want to improve their sleep because as mentioned before the serotonin is then converted to melatonin which is the chemical that induces sleep uh, in animals so there, there are two neat tricks there to increase your serotonin levels. You can, you can eat a high carbohydrate meal that will uh, increase your insulin levels and that in turn will push more of the tryptophan in your plasma into your brain which will increase the synthesis of serotonin. Or you can eat a, a herbal supplement uh, that contains 5-hydroxytryptophan uh, and that will uh, feed into the pathway for the production of serotonin uh, and also boost your serotonin levels in your brain. However, 
uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the rate limi limiting enzyme in the conversion of uh, a tryptophan to serotonin is iron. And really, if you have borderline iron status uh, or your iron status is very poor, uh, you're probably going to find that that uh, is the cause of uh, any serotonin uh, deficiency that you may have. So the first thing you need to do before you start looking uh, at herbal supplements containing 5-hydroxytryptophan or uh, attempting to manipulate uh, uh, the tryptophan con uh, transport into your brain the first thing you really need to, to do is address whether you have adequate iron status and if you don't uh, you need to either increase your red meat intake uh, you need to take vitamin c uh, with your plant foods that contain iron or you need to supplement with an amino acid chelated form of iron uh, in order to be able to boost your iron uh, status to adequate